Hey everyone, welcome back to another After Effect tutorial, first of all, I want to say sorry to all of you because I am not uploaded any video last weekend, I am really really sorry, anyways today we are creating the beautiful Christmas and New Year slideshow like this. So let's start it. First create a new composition 1920 by 1080, 30 frames per second. And it's called main comp. Now drag your image into the timeline. Resize it if required. Right click and pre-compose them and change the name placeholder 1. Also move all attributes into the new composition. Now create a new composition, it's called Pre-Scenes 1. Now drag placeholder 1 comp into the timeline. Then select Pen tool and create a mask top and bottom side like this. Then search CC repeat tile effect and apply on placeholder 1 comp, change the expand value 2000. Tiling unfold. Then apply fast blur. Also check repeat edge pixels. Blurriness around 10. Then go to project window. Here we have some footage. Drag texture image into the timeline. You can find all footage link in description. Resize it if required. Select both layer and convert into 3D layer. Also duplicate the layer. Then select top placeholder comp and change all expand value 1000. Also decrease the blurriness with 2 point. Now select again texture and placeholder 1 comp and duplicate them. Also decrease the blurriness with 2 point. Do the same process 4 to 5 time. Now select top placeholder comp and delete fast blur. Also change the texture PNG footage blending mode normal to screen. And also delete top placeholder both mask. Now go to one view to two view horizontal. So it's look like this. Then select top placeholder comp layer and move Z position far away from the camera. Also move texture PNG footage. Do the same adjustment with you all layer. After done all adjustment it's look like this. This will give our image parallax effect. Now go to main comp, drag pre-scene 1 comp into the timeline. And create new composition. It's calling comp. Drag ink footage into timeline also drag ice texture image into timeline. 
Select image and change the track Mataluma Mat. Sorry we drag wrong footage into timeline, so replace your texture image with ice texture image. Then select ice texture image and apply motion tile effect. And change output width 500, and output height 500, also check mirror edges. Then hit R for rotation and add expression time into 2. So it's give rotation movement in our ice texture image. Also turn down the opacity little bit. Now go to main comp, and drag ice comp into the timeline. So it's look like little snow effect in our image. Then select pre-scene 1 comp and apply motion tile effect. Change output width around 400. And output height 400. Also check mirror edges. Then apply displacement map effect. Change displacement map layering comp. Horizontal displacement luminance, max horizontal displacement around 50, vertical displacement also luminance. Max vertical displacement around 30, so it's give our ice comp little displacement effect. Now add one more effect call optic compensation. Go to few second forward and add keyframe on field of view. And also check to reverse check distortion, then go to 1 second forward and change field of view 100. It's give us lens distortion effect. Now go to project window and drag snow footage into the timeline. Change blending mode normal to screen. Then select star footage and drag into the timeline. Also change blending mode normal to screen. Create a new adjustment layer. And apply level effect. Also apply camera lens blur effect. Go to first frame and change radius blur zero. Then go to 1 second forward and change radius blur 50. Now select level and go to first frame. And add keyframe on histogram. Then go to 1 second forward and change histogram like this. This is give our footage a fade in effect. Now add some text element in our footage, so create a new composition. And it's called text comp. Select text tool and type any text as you like. Now select text layer and add evaporate effect. Press U to show keyframes. Then swipe both keyframes like this. Do same animation in second text layer. Go to main comp then go to project window and drag text 1 comp into the timeline. I think we need to decrease ink comp opacity a little bit. Perfect, it's look good to me. You can adjust the text one layer. If you think your animation appear late on screen. Perfect. Now create a new camera, 
I am using 35mm lens preset camera. Then create a null layer. Parent your camera with null layer. And also convert null layer into 3D layer. Now select pre scene 1 comp and make 3D layer. And also make text 1 layer 3D layer. Then select camera go to first frame and hit P for position and add a keyframe. Then go to around 6 second forward and change Z position little bit closer to camera. Then go to 3 second and select null layer and hit P for position and add a keyframe. Then go to 1 second forward and change Y position value downside of the comp. Select both keyframe and easy ease them. Our first slide has complete. Now we create a transition effect. So create a new composition it's called matte transition. Then create a new white solid layer. And search linear wipe effect. Wipe angle 0. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on transition completion 100%, then go to 1 second forward and change transition completion 0%. Now create an adjustment layer. And search CC lens effect. Change size around 150. Convergence 20, so it's look like this. Now create another new composition, call Flare Transition. Go to Assets folder and drag Flare Image into the timeline, resize Flare Image. Then hit P for position. Move your footage like this. Then add a keyframe on position. Then go to one second forward and move your image down sight like this. Then hit T for opacity and add a keyframe on last key, and change value 0%. Then go to few frame back and change value 100%. So it's look like this. Now create adjustment layer and apply CC lens effect. And change size 150. Convergence 20. Then select both matte transition keyframes and easy ease them. Now go to main comp and select all layers and pre-compose them. Also move all attributes into the new composition, and change name scene 1. Then go to project window and duplicate the scene 1 composition. Then drag scene 2 composition into the timeline. Move your second scene 2 layer when our first scene 1 footage goes down. Now open scene 2 comp, then go to project window and duplicate the placeholder 1 comp. Now replace this placeholder 2 comp scene 2 placeholder 1 comp. Then duplicate pre scene 1 comp, and replace. Also, duplicate text 1 comp and replace them. Now double click to open pre-scene 2 comp and replace all placeholder 1 comp with placeholder 2 comp. Now open any one placeholder 2 comp and replace your image.
One thing you have to notice if you think this is your last slide, so you can delete these keyframes, and reset the position. Now drag both matte and flare transition into the scene 2 composition. And change flare transition blending mode normal to screen. And matte transition normal to stencil alpha, so it's look like this. Perfect, it's look good to me. Now go to the main comp and select scene 2 comp. And search echo effect. Change decay around 0.23 and number of echoes 3. So here you can see the echo effect. You can change the text of text to comp. Then drag light leak footage into the timeline and change blending mode normal to screen. Then create a new black solid layer. Go to ellipse tool, double click to ellipse tool to make a perfect ellipse, go to timeline and check mask inverted. Open mask 1, mask feather 300, mask opacity 50%. So it's look little vintage look. Now our animation has done. Hit 0 for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video. If you like the video please share it, like it, and subscribe our channel. For more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.